Okay. okay, Bill, thank you. Terror is targeting the United States by mail. It's a topic that we've been following very closely for you today. I'm down here at the live desk right now. This is a frightening scenario playing out at our nation's airports and across the country on the other side of the world. We've been on top of this breaking news all day long. And tonight we're joined by Congressman Pete Hoekstra, to, uh, who's on the House Intelligence Committee, to talk more about this. We've been getting so many details into the newsroom, and we keep watching all the feeds come in with, with um, um, all of these um, analysis and all of this stuff going on. So can you tell us a little bit more about this? Was this um, a long plot that's been in the works? What do you know about these components that have been found on these planes? Well, I think you can safely assume that it's been a plot that's been underway for a long time. Uh, you know, they, it looks like they had explosives here. It looks like they might have had a mechanism that was going to put this uh, all to work so that it may have exploded. Uh, right now we've got people who are tearing this, uh, these packages apart very, very slowly uh, to make sure that they fully understand whether this thing was intended to explode or not. Right now they really don't know. They don't know for sure. Now, these, ha this, these situations happened with cargo planes. What about, how tight are the security measures regarding cargo planes? Well, I think it's uh, you know, not every package is screened. Uh, you know, there will be a sampling of these things. Uh, the people who are shipping on cargo planes, you know, they are asked to go back and verify the people who have con and who come in contact with the packaging and all of these types of things. So there are security measures uh, in place, but you can't go out and check every single package before it gets on a cargo plane. How do you think we've been doing so far? I mean, terrorists keep looking for new ways to breach security. Do you think this was sort of a dry run? Are you surprised that it was it managed to be contained at this point or was this pretty much business as usual we're doing a good job I think you're gonna find out that we're doing business uh, we're doing a pretty good job I and mean, we, we just you know arrested the guy in Hawaii mm -hmm. uh, within the last week we arrested the guy in Virginia uh, we intercepted these packages uh, you know no bad things have been happening uh, part of it is because I think we're doing some things very very well and we've also been fortunate uh, because sometimes these terrorists have been uh, they've been incompetent uh, they haven't done things well they've given us the opportunity but we're doing lots of things well I think they do keep trying they do keep looking for ways to breach security and look for gaps uh, they're very persistent uh, al uh, the radical American cleric in Yemen uh, he is very very persistent they want to attack America this is the new reality America under siege from terrorists it's going to continue is there any thought that there could be other packages out there that are undetected at this time oh I'm sure that uh, our national security folks are doing everything they can because that that's very very reasonable that there might be more packages is there any reason to believe that this plot is part of a larger plot do you think this is that we know all that's happened so far well I think again this is where you take a look at uh, Fort Hood Christmas Day Times Square Hawaii Virginia today a lot of this stuff comes out of Yemen, it comes from Malaki, it comes from Al-Qaeda on the Arabian Peninsula. Absolutely, it's part of a larger plot whose overall mission is to attack America and attack America successfully again. Remember, Europe is also under the threat uh, of heightened alert. Uh, because they're expecting that there may be an attack there. So this is not only America, it's, it's kind of a global watch. How do you think we're doing on a global scale as far as working together to combat terrorism? I just came back from Europe. I was in the UK, I was in the Netherlands, I've been in a number of other countries there. I think one of the reasons that we are being so successful is that the cooperation is very, very good between us, our allies in Europe, and also with uh, many of the countries in the Middle East. Now, we're concerned about, of course, these packages that were on board these planes. We're going into the holiday season. What about people here in the United States? How can we be vigilant? Well, I think uh, if you see anything suspicious or anything nervous, get it into the hands of the professionals. Get it into the hands of law enforcement. Call your local law enforcement officials. They will handle it professionally. They will do what needs to be done. But so far, so good on the way that we're combating what's out there in the war on terror. It's been a long time since we've had a successful attack, a major successful attack here in the U.S. Okay. U.S. Congressman Pete Hoekstra, thank you so much for Great. joining thank us. You. We will continue to pass along any details as we learn them about what happened today with those packages. Brian. Okay, Sue, thank you. Thank you.